What's good? It's Jagozi. Tuesday, March 17th, 2020. Coronavirus in Ohio. Tuesday update. 67 COVID-19 cases reported in state. What I love to do, this is one of my favorite pastimes and hobbies and passions, really, is exposing to the entire world the numerical rituals the state of Ohio loves to put out. They are Kabbalists. Governor Mike DeWine is an actor for a gang of Kabbalists playing the role of the governor. I have a video on this channel where I predict him winning the, the governorship. His birth numerology is the same as Buckeye and so on. But do you see how 67 COVID-19 cases are reported in the state? This is a very special number to this whole Wuhan ritual. Wuhan equals 67. This is the Wuhan coronavirus. 67 is the 19th prime number. So they're saying 67 cases of COVID-19. Chaos equals 19. Are you understanding how clearly this is coming out ritualistically? Let's go back to Stark County. The fourth ca case of coronavirus reported in the state of Ohio. Stark County man has COVID-19, Governor DeWine coronavirus briefing. This was about a week ago. A 53-year-old man from Stark County has tested positive for coronavirus, Governor Mike DeWine announced Wednesday afternoon. So, first, they're saying he's 53 years old. This is propaganda from the state of Ohio. Ohio equals 16. 53 is the 16th prime number. You always want to look up for this number in the state of Ohio. What's next? They're saying it's Stark County. Let's go back to the 67. That's what this whole video is about. So right now we're having the 67 COVID cases. And again, they didn't have to be this number. It could have been something around it. They could have estimated. They're telling you 67. If you're thinking that this is all coincidence, let's go back to before real quick where they're talking about the 26 cases. See? Saturday update. 26 confirmed cases of COVID-19. We're talking about, first off, they're ordered out a chaos ritual. Chaos equals 19 and 26. It is a what? A virus. Virus 26. So you see how they're using Gamatria in all these riddles. So 26 is the 19th, or 67 is the 19th prime. We're looking at Stark County with the fourth COVID-19 case, right? This was on Wednesday about a week ago. That was March 11th, see? 67 days from Mike DeWine's birthday. 67 days from his birthday in Stark County. Stark County equals 67. Stark County, 67. So after seeing this video, me as a resident of the state of Ohio, do you understand why I'm sitting here not giving a shit about the coronavirus propaganda? Why I know this is another Freemasonic ritual, a play from the state of Ohio, another fear porn scare tactic put on by the numbers. Stark County, 67. 67 days from Mike DeWine's birthday. Let me show you his birthday. Mike DeWine. This guy is a theatrical actor for the Freemasons, the federal government, the Catholic Church, the you-know-whos. I love his birthday so much. He has one of my favorite birthdays in the world. It's so perfect. Ohio equals 47. We're not going to sit on this too long, but Ohio equals 47. Time equals 47. 47 is the 15th prime number. So Mike DeWine is born what? January 5th, 1 slash 5, in 1947. Isn't that so perfect? Another clue, as I knew, that made me know he was going to win. But from his birthday till the day of the fourth case is 67 days. It's also two months, six days. I didn't even see that. And then the 66 days, connection to the revelation. But two months, six days, virus 26. Of course, nine weeks, three days, Saturn 93. One coronavirus with those connections. But you see how it's a span of 67 days. And start count equals 67. And now today they're saying 67 cases in Ohio. And they don't, it does not end there. It does not end there. Ohio is the 17th state. There was something they mentioned about 17. Maybe it's a small detail, though, but it's just them using 17 again. But it still doesn't end there. There's more here. I want to get you, get you that 67 connection. Here's what I noticed here. Ohio's 67 confirmed cases are scattered in how many of the state's 88 counties? 16 of the state's 88 counties. 17 people have been hospitalized so far, according to the state health department. So that's the 17 I was looking for. And they're talking about some earlier piece of propaganda. So, I mean, come on, you're seeing these numbers roll out. 
again, I am just just look at from my lens. I am a Ohio resident reading my local news, trying to understand information on the coronavirus. I want to be an informed citizen. So I'm trying to consume information from my government who's supposed who is responsible, supposedly, for giving me correct, accurate information on what's going on. Keep me up to up to date so I could help myself, my friends, and my family, right? But instead, look what I'm looking at. Numerical rituals from this one world order. So so am I crazy or schizophrenic or any of that to have the types of views and feelings I do towards the federal government, the state of Ohio, this agenda? You see, I'm logically trying to break this down for you. Ohio is a 17th state, 17 people hospitalized, 16 of the state's 88 counties. You know, 88 connects to time, the analemma of the sun and the moon. They both make trace to 88, or they both make 88s in the sky. Back to the future, 88 miles per hour. This number connects to time. It's four circles. That's 1,440 degrees. Time equals 144 in the Jewish cipher. Again, time equals 47, Ohio 47. It's completely by the numbers propping in. So the fact that they're not giving me any accurate numbers of a virus that I don't even know, I haven't seen anyone with. I don't know. I haven't seen this yet. I don't know even if it exists. I mean, do you think, don't you say it was logical for me to have the feelings and the approach I do? And then look at the second Columbus patient, the 23 year old. I've said it for years. Look out for Ohio, the state. Look at their seal. It's the sun. They worship the sun. They run by the Jesuit order. Sun equals nine. 23 is the ninth prime. Look, go back and look at a lot of Zach's, if you're on Zach's Patreon, go back and look at a lot of his calls and videos with the Columbus Blue Jackets, a lot of things with Ohio teams. It's a lot of rituals with nines and 23s hitting. 23 is the ninth prime. Wuhan also equals 23. It's just insane. And there's more. And you think I'm done? No, I'm gonna. If I'm done, if I'm done with this video, there's gonna be more exposing the state. That will be taken care of in the next 24, 36 hours. He said, you know, only in the state of Ohio's propaganda, they gotta add the. Oh no, no, not just you know another 24 to 48 hours. We're gonna make sure we're gonna do it in 36 hours. Only in the Buckeye state, you get them putting that inside the propaganda. I mean, do you see what I'm trying to inform you on? Buckeye 36. This is why. Can you see why this is an interesting hobby of mine? Because the state that I'm born and pretty much raised in has li have lived in most of my life. They put up this specific, very specific code all the time. And look, we can't even go through this piece of propaganda from the state of Ohio, from MSN, without seeing the main numbers for this one two one. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation one two one. <laughs> Coronavirus outbreak 121, Revelation 121, Pandemic 43, 4,300 have died. Again, killing 43. 1,050 people have confirmed cases. Mason resigned as 105, 29 have died. Masonic 29. Ohio does equal 29, but they're talking about worldwide here. Effects in Ohio. So Cleveland has canceled their St. Patrick's Day Parade ritualistically. The Cleveland International Film Festival is also canceled. So let's look at this. Oh, one more thing. It's in Stark County. The fourth case, Stark equals 66. He's announced that at a press conference 66 days from my birthday. It was a span of 67. And it's named after, you know, someone, I think something Stark. I looked in the history of that. I couldn't find a really, you know, tight riddle. But maybe I should just look again. But I'm sure they're connected to history like they always do. So the second confirmed case in Columbus brings Franklin County's total to at least four. So now there's four in Franklin County, but there was four in Ohio back when the Stark County stuff was coming out. But again, does it mean does do the numbers matter? It's by the numbers, it's all ritual. Here, the first case was a 49-year-old, you know, Scottish 49. Well, the first case in Franklin County is the 49-year-old. He tra recently traveled aboard the Carnival Valor, you know, the 322 cruise ship. He is at home in isolation. Again, how, 
I don't know. I mean, yeah, I get it. They're, why should they tell us who he is and everything? But still, it's like, so I'm supposed to really sit here and believe this after I see how bad numbers it is. So I'm probably dragging this on. I really want to show that 67 ritual, you know, 41 second video. So here we have 60 a minute video. That's a 60 second video. Quarantine equals 60. So I think that's it. But if you want to see why you want to understand this knowledge, here's the last thing. Mike DeWine's birth numerology, again, born January 5th, 1947. That's a day with 27 life lesson numbers, 72 numerology, a day with 360 days remaining. I mean, it cannot be any more clear. Buckeye equals those numbers. And I saw that. I was like, okay, this guy's going to win. I mean, that's all I had to see. And, but there's so many other things on top of that. But it is the Buckeye State using this particular pattern throughout all the propaganda don't forget how Stark County, they did not, I, I, I didn't really cover that, but I had this up. Their schools remain open. This is the mockery. So here there's a case of coronavirus there. It's spreading apparently, right? And the schools remain open. But do you know this coronavirus? I mean, they may be closed now, but do you see, I mean, they're telling you this. And guess what? I guarantee you all those kids there, none of them, not a single one of them have coronavirus. That's the whole mockery. Not a single one of them are sick. They're all completely fine. And they all went to school. Oh, well, that doesn't mean everyone will be fine. Uh, yeah, I, I know I get all these little, you know, what ifs. But you know what I'm trying to teach you here? It's scaring, nonsense, it's ritual, it's fake news propaganda. It's by, particular, it's a, by a very particular system. I do want to see some Ohio. I mean, you can look, look at this now. I, I used to go to 10 TV. That's the propaganda wing for the state of Ohio, for Columbus, and you look at the propaganda that they put out. Let's look for some coronavirus updates. Look at this stuff. See, so let you know, 17 hospitalized. They got to let you know the numbers for Ohio right here on their propaganda. Ohio is the 17th state, 67 confirmed cases of coronavirus in Ohio. So why, so you know what I'm saying? They're telling us 17 hospitalized? No, I don't believe that. Not from the 17th state. I don't believe that. 67, 67 confirmed, big Wuhan number? No, I don't believe that. I don't believe with the lie in the middle. I don't believe any of this bullshit. <laughs> Again, 67 cases of COVID-19. 67 is the 19th prime. So I guess that is the main thing. And guess, again, they're telling us, what, on March 17th? 17 hospitalized on the 17th day of the month from the 17th state. Patients rating from 14 to 86, dead equals 14, N14, blood sacrifice equals 86, no symbol equals 86. Let's see what St. Patrick's Day equals. A lot of this could be could have been synced up with this, and I just completely didn't even see. St. Patrick's Day equals 86. 14 to 86, we're just talking about now. I mean, again, it's the same coded propaganda. I cannot say it enough. You know, Patrick, 78, like, long coronavirus. But yeah, I'll, I'll leave it there. We'll, we'll do another one. We can do it today to Mike DeWine's birthday. I mean, he came out today in some propaganda. Yeah, he's coming out with his press conference today. Buckeye, 72. 72 days from his birthday. And expect more from him. Expect more from him. Again, he's born day with 17 numerology. And then that's all you do. You type his name in. I guarantee he's going to come up. And some propaganda today. Yep, two hours ago. Give 2 p.m. briefing. You can say it's a coincidence because, oh, they're all coming out. Every, guys, they don't come out every single day. It's not like the governor comes out every single day giving a briefing. How can it be a coincidence? So if this nice briefing is coming out, they're, they're making sure he comes out 72 days from his birthday. Buckeye 72. Born day with 72 numerology. What have I told you guys? This is a theatrical actor for the Freemasons. I cannot say it enough. You're being deceived every single day by this gang. Are this comic books? No, I mean, uh, the mockery is just too much sometimes. 
Okay, kids, run. Look, look at some predictive programming right there from you know, from Cincinnati.com. You know, Cincinnati, Ohio, they love their predictive programming. So does Cleveland, Ohio. Look how the median age is 48. Quarantine equals 48. Got to have that big quarantine number. Health Patrick 48 and St. Patrick's Day. Quarantine equals 48. 26 females, 48 men infected. Again, virus 26. Quarantine 48. Talking about canceling the Arnolds. I mean, the one Mike DeWine has to even you know be involved in this type of shit with chaos. See, DeWine speaks after the postponed primary election when chaos ensued during the late hours Monday and early hours Tuesday. Order out of chaos. Chaos equals 19. 67 is the 19th prime. Today they're announcing 67 infected of COVID-19. This is completely chaos right now. Their motto, motto is order out of chaos. And this is some bullshit 72 days from his birthday. The wine proposed moving election day to move to June 2nd. Guys, Mike DeWine is an actor and a jokester. June 2nd, virus equals 26. I've been saying this all video. The 2nd of June. You see how this by the numbers? He wasn't instructed. So is Mike DeWine practicing the numerology? Yeah, he could be. But obviously his employers are doing this. Unbelievable. And what's, what is this? Election day. What do you do on election day? You vote. Vote equals 62. June 2nd. One more time. Do you see why I enjoy exposing the state of Ohio and the very clear numerical rituals they put on? The 17th state puts on. Vote has this chaos overlap with you know chaos, virus, etc. as well. Wow. And here are the counties affected. You know, look at Cuyahoga County is where Cleveland, Ohio is with the 31. They made sure Cleveland made sure to have that had the highest number of Ohio. It's not an accident at all. Cleveland gets the most shit out of everyone. Ohio, of course, they're going to have the most cases of coronavirus. It's by the numbers. Cleveland, 33. Cuyahoga County, CC, 33, of course. 113 local health departments. Was it was that the big coronavirus outbreak number? Oh no, coronavirus pandemic one one three. New Scottish one one three. Perfect way to close this off. In the U.S., fifty six hundred people are confirmed to have virus. Really? Again, am I supposed to sit and believe this shit? With coronavirus equaling fifty six, with literally every single video I've made about coronavirus, this number popping up every single time. There's no way I'm going to sit here and say this is, oh, okay. And then people will share this shit with you. Oh, a lot of coronavirus. And they'll, you'll say how? And then they'll just show you the link of this propaganda. And you're supposed to read it and believe it. They expect you to read it and believe it. Well, this is from the CDC. What do you know? Get the fuck out of here. This is more contrived propaganda from the state of Ohio, from the CDC, the federal government, the Freemasons, the Catholic Church, the Jesuit Order, the you know who's. The false ones from the book of Revelation putting out this fake news propaganda. This is a revelation ritual. So I'm so glad all my friends in England from across the ocean, anywhere you are, not from Ohio, from Ohio. I know a lot of people from Ohio follow this work. Do you clearly see? They even write out 67. Let's see what 67 equals. Do you clearly see how the 17th state of the United States of America, your state, Ohio, is putting this ritual out by the numbers? I'm going to keep these in mind. I don't quickly know this. I know the Ritual 45, Sun 54, Buckeye 36. I, you know, I get this, Sun 18. But maybe that's it. Maybe there's more. But we'll look at this later. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Peace out.